And the Carp family is live here in the Carp family studios with a very colorful Miss Sandra Carp and a rather sedate Mr. Larry Carp, which you'll soon see. Huh? Put a jacket on? I don't want a jacket. So, um, we just happened to watch uh, Bernadette Peters on, on, uh, yeah. what? We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it? No. Why not? I don't want to. But uh, I have what to say, though. About what? Bernadette Peters? Yeah, she no, came on. Talk to now, you were in the shower. You didn't see how she came on. It was a London concert from 1998. Yes. Okay, that was on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Just happened to find it. Just put in YouTube, and I said uh, Bernadette Peters, and she came up, and she came out, and the orchestra she had a whole orchestra, harp, must have had French horns and uh, oboes and bassoons and whatnot, strings and everything, and um, and she um, and the announcer said. It was like a Tiffany roll or something. And ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernadette Peters. So I thought to myself, well, I, I could do that. Sure. If I put my heart into it and try and practice, why not? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Larry Carp. Dun, 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 dun. Turn it around. Well, you, sh you should know how to kill a mood, you know? Yeah. Why do you do that? Is that better? Well, put, put yourself on the microphone. Someone in your condition should be right on the mic right away, you know? Um, I see she was singing all the favorite Broadway show tunes. I can't see myself. And I'm in that mood. Test one, one, two. Check one, two, test one, two. Okay, okay. Now, of course, I cut my own hair as usual. And this time I dyed it a little bit. I think it's my best cut to date. No? Yeah. Some things in the back I gotta fix probably. But it seemed to come out. I think I just found the right combination. Two in the back, uh, the tapers on the side. All because that Russian barber that you went to said to me, yeah, Lottie, you look like circus clown. What, what is this out like this? You need to taper it, make it close to, close to head. I said, okay. <laughs> but I think he was out to something. Yeah, I listened to him, even though he spoke in a Russian accent in English. And I was quite taken by his presentation. So, uh, now it turns out my father used to have a bit of a crush on her, right? But he loved you. No, he liked Peters. Yes, but he, he liked you. He loved you. Any man that wakes up early in the morning to do two or three jobs just to make sure that a ravishing beauty such as yourself has everything she needs, he must really care I about you. I wasn't very demanding. You weren't that very demanding? No. <laughs> he just liked to get up early. Yeah? So I was looking at her and I was thinking, Hmm. <laughs> that show was 24 years ago. 24 years ago? Right. 24, I said, you sure? Yeah. 1998. Right. Carry the two, we had the 20. It's about 22 years ago. 20, uh, no, 24, 26 years ago. That's right. She's about the same age as I am. And I was thinking to myself, one... Bernadette Peters, and you can't forget the rest. One Bernadette Lazaro, and I make myself into a pest. 
That bump, that grind she's got sends me in a spin. Who knows if it would be one thing or another and would I win? So tell me she is Jewish and try to make my day. Or else I'll have to pay for it. Son, who, son, give her my attention. Some imagery from my fingers will she mention. And she's the one. I mean, I thought about it, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't help the thoughts in my head. But uh, then I took my attention off of it. So now, how old is she? Actually, she's 76 years old. You know that. Sure. I looked it up. Oh. 76. And I'm 58, carry three, carry two, raise the one. Age is just a number. Age is just a number. I'm, I gotta have kids, you know. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. Okay, what are you thinking about, Larry? You're going to wind up with some Broadway singer. Who the hell do you think you are? You're a loser, Larry. You take care of me every day for the rest of your life. You and I are simpatico, symbiotic, symbiosis. You and me, Larry, we're meant to stay together forever. Whatever. I'm fine. I, I'm, I trust in the Hashem boss. Nice. You know. So, uh, so let's start this puppy, shall we? Well, she likes dogs, too. She's got a lot of dogs, I think. That hair all over you and everything. Wake up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's that weekly time again. It's party time in the carp's house. What's up, little mama? What's up? Nice. It's very nice. weak. Weak. So sit back and relax with some snacks. Get ready for a whole lot of fun and excitement. Woohoo! Whoop whoop! With the carp family show number one hundred ninety-six. 196 shows, little lady. You are a dynamo, I must say. Huh? And these outfits, you never repeat yourself, it seems. I repeat myself. You do? But this yeah. one looks a little, uh, oh, what have you put out there? I've worn it before. You look like, you look like you have oriental shirt on, Mr. Cobb. It's silk. It's silk a shirt. Yes. Oh, very, very nice. 100%. 100% silk. Oh. You are Rook of Marvelous. So, so sit back and relax with some snack. Get ready for a whole lot of fun. with am going to And without any further ado, let's introduce this Broadway band to you, baby. She's got lots of personality. She is the star of the show. Larry plays piano and bass to frame it to flow. While little bro Howie lays it down on her drums and makes it all grow. Especially with the inflation. Others just hit the park to play some ball. We, we hope now you understand why we think our fam is so grand. And when you put us all together, you've got the car family band. That's right. 
Well, Howie's coming soon, huh? Oh, no. oh. Hopefully, by then I'll be better. Somewhere they don't want to pay for nothing. But where are they? In this economy, I don't the way see things them. are, well, you can't see it because you're on this side of the camera. Oh, okay. I have to turn the mirror around oh. to see. First of all, he doesn't like to be seen doesn't like diagonally. To be seen. He doesn't like to be seen diagonally. Right. He told you that. I figured that he doesn't. Oh really? I don't like to be seen. Well, excuse me. <laughs> You know, Bernadette Peters dated I, Steve Martin, you know. I don't Did you know, know that? that? About what? four or five years. Bernadette Peters dated Steve Martin. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just a wild and a crazy guy. Mm. Gotta put an arrow through your head. Are you really cool? Yeah, I got it on 69, our usual famous tempo, ten temperature. I'm feeling Gotta take your temperature every day. Remember when Howie was younger and we asked him the... Uh, Someone asked him, do you like violence on TV? He said, yeah, and I like trumpets, too. He didn't understand the word. He didn't understand the word? He was young, huh? Well, now that we did 20 minutes on him, let's sing something. Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, I was sitting alone at home when you came and joined me. And I said, hey, Mom, there, why don't we sing some songs? And then we came inside, and we realized that this could be the start of something big. We were waiting for my brother to come down this year, but he didn't come down until next week. So we will party soon, and we'll Hope that he'll tune and come into our music room and play. It was a. You know what is it? I can't help you 
You can't help me. I'm sorry, I'm just here looking for you today. Okay, that's okay. that's fine. I I'll take it. I put a lot of effort into looking nice. Today. Yeah, you did. You got your yeah. foofed hair a little bit too. Washed my hair. Oh. Took a shower. Earrings on. Earrings. I'm mean, gonna appreciate all this beauty. Right. Just feast your eyes with my nose. You are a regular smorgasbord. Yes, but I can't do anything much. You, you can't do much of no, anything. No, I can't. Okay. I can see well, let's see. I was I was working. I was practicing some miscellaneous so tunes today. Nice I should do some nice yes, things. Of course. Uh, let's see. If I, I I was in a book. I was doing the. Folks, <laughs> I don't get to play too many Gentile women, you know. But I was working on. miscellaneous tunes, you know. Um, there's a beautiful song called Graduation Day. You ever hear that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that one? I do. You want to try it? I'll, I'll bring out the book. I worked hard on it. I mean, I just went through all the tunes, you know. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. Fine. you know it? You never heard of song song? You've heard of it? Yes. I studied with a teacher also. I studied with... Uh, Graduation. First I studied with with Cy Green on piano. I had First I studied drums. I studied drums with uh, uh, Gene Thaler, then Pete Webster. Then I took one lesson with Duffy when he was playing at some place on, on the Duffy Jackson on the uh, Hollywood beach and that one lesson changed my whole life. And then I studied piano with um, Cy Green who had this, this style of... He played the, the, the uh, stride style, taught me that and he had a book of repertoire, he impressed upon me repertoire. So I have some of his, he gave me a book and I have some of his things in there. And then I study with, uh, uh, are you humming? I'm trying to think here. I'm thinking. Uh, he, he, I study with um, Sanford Gold on piano, and then I study with Vince Maggio at the University of Miami. And I don't think I had any other teachers, so I was like three and three, drums and piano. Let's see. So I was working on this. And I was like, <laughs> Today, today is your birthday. It's my birthday too, yeah. Uh, I say it's your birthday. And the, the melody's not written here, so I gotta go back and rewrite this whole thing. Oh, here's the graduation day. It's. I don't know if you've ever heard of this song. It's a time for joy, a, a, a time for tears. A time well treasure, we'll treasure through the years. We'll remember always graduation day at the senior prom. so everything's so fluid and beautiful even that she forces the piano player to play so <laughs> subtly subtly every little note is a little subtle gem they Whoa. 
walk alone uh, when the ivy walls are far behind no, no matter where our pathway path may, path may wind we'll remember That's the way you remember it? And I can't, I can't, I can't. And you can't even sing it. Even if you found it, you couldn't sing it. Well, I could try. Right. Then I was working on this, of course, pomp and circumstance. Oh, wrong, wrong bass notes, okay. I go down instead of up.
before, even in all my four years at the University of Miami. Never heard that. You know the Notre Dame Victory March? Cheer, cheer, my Sigma Chi, University of Michigan song. Okay, okay. I got a bunch of bugle calls. I'm playing on wild cars for you. Yeah, it's, oh, here's a pretty, uh, you know this, There is Love? You know this one? Perhaps Love and There is Love. You know those two things? Perhaps Love is like a resting place. A shelter from the storm. These are like wedding songs. Gentile wedding song. <laughs> it exists to give you comfort. It exists to keep you warm. Not that we might not play it, the Jewish people, but we have our own music. And in those times of trouble, where you are most alone, the in a long time. Oh boy. Who who wants to come down and say hello to me, my you puppets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
left Larry, he's really off the deep end. He's floating with one cylinder. Eh, <laughs> uh, remember what I saw today? I saw a... I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who's that? Somebody put up on Facebook, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who is it? He's that uh, science professor, like he's a physicist or something. Yeah. Yeah, he, he talks a lot about uh, what's out there in the universe, right? Never heard of him? You've seen science him on TV. Science. Science. Very down-to-earth kind of guy, yeah. kind of makes science relatable. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, one of my friends here is Mo DeGrasse Wisely. Well, this is very good to see you guys. I come straight from Germany, and I ooh, ooh, and my tie is up. It must be... Must be the effect of that beautiful shirt you're wearing there, Mrs. Carbine. It gets me all excited, you know. But, um, yes, I've heard of this DeGrasse Tyson. I'm DeGrasse Wisely. Mo DeGrasse Wisely. So, uh, there are no relation, but maybe we seem a bit similar. Because I am into science and so is he. Isn't this a holiday weekend? Oh, it is Labor Day weekend. Don't you Americans celebrate Labor Day weekend? Yes. Oh, this is very nice. I bet there's something exciting going on somewhere tonight. Well, you know, there are aliens that come down from other planets. Uh, have mm -hmm. you ever considered uh, hanging should, out with them a little maybe bit? Maybe we should go out with them. You want to go up to a mountain with a, with a cellophane no, I, or a... I'd like to see if anything is going on anywhere. Maybe you'd like to put some uh, aluminum foil on your head and see if anyone talks to you. <laughs> this could be an exciting thing for someone your age. Would yeah. you like that? Yeah. Well, I think I've overstayed my welcome. Your mother is a little distracted. I know that, dear Mo, but uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, no problem, Larry. I'll be back any time you want me. I'm just a hands reach away, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So what? How about, how about Kermit? Kermit? You haven't seen Cousin in a while, yeah. huh? So, hi, Kermit. Oh, hi, old Cousin Sandra. Ooh, Larry, your hands are cold. Ooh, ooh. I'm glad you can get a chill around here. Uh, hi, hi, hi Cousin Kermit. Kermit the Frog here. How are you, Kermit? Oh, I'm doing fine, Cuz. Everything okay? Not exactly, but... Oh, your yeah, shirt sure looks like a bunch of lily pads I could jump from, you know? One to another. But quite, uh, quite lovely you look. Always, uh, always put on a very nice appearance. I'm sure you make Larry quite proud. Mm -hmm. Oh, certainly. Kermit, she's, she's just a picture of, uh, of, uh, of beauty. Yes, I would say so, Larry, if you're smart. Anyway, uh, so what's on your mind, cuz? Not much. Why oh, don't you sing a song what, are you making it? fun of me now, uh, Cousin Sandra? Why don't you sing a song with me? Oh, me? she's doing impressions of me now, huh? I, hmm, what, what, do you think you're the, the ventriloquist around here? No. No! What, are you trying to imitate me? No, not at all. Well, use your regular voice then. I can't. What do you mean you can't? If I could, I would. Oh, brother. What's her problem, Larry? I think she's got a little mild case of laryngitis. Oh, really? Well, uh, you should have a foolish lame one, as Larry says. Thank you, girl. You have a quick and speedy healing. Thank you. Not like the last time you got it. it. Took three months. Oh boy, three months to get over that. Every time, mm -hmm. it's like you take a three-month vacation. You think you uh, you deserve it or something, you know? Larry needs your help. You gotta sing with him and make the people happy. I don't know. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye, Kermit. Goodbye, Coach. Thanks for filling in. No problem. So, what else? Oh, let's see if my licorice whip. I'm going to do everything here because i got no help. That's fine.
this is a beast. This, I think, has one of the largest ranges of all the instruments, the clarinet. My dad used to play so nicely. Played all that klezmer stuff with all the fetches and everything. Do a little klezmer? Let's do some klezmer. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do something nice. Yeah. Let's Design on oh yo oh 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 with glick. What's glick again? It's luck. luck, luck. Mit mazel is fortune. Uh, asmahatus with alles good design. It's a it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Right. Well, asmahatus with alles good design. I didn't write the words. Shlomo Ironhorn wrote the words for Muncie. He helped me out. Uh, uh, What's one you could sing? Oh, I can't sing. You sing, you sing, and the angels sing. Yeah. Something very uh, moving about klezmer music. Probably comes from the gypsies. And it's very joyous music. Uh, let's see. Some of it's kind of sad too. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's that Denaire Cher. Denaire Cher. Hi. Hi, dude. I can't sing it's in Yiddish. What do you think of Yiddish? Let me play a couple of games. Let's see. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's see. Did that one. Um, Thing. 
guys all in from New York. When I was playing with Pia Menta, he had the guys from the Klezmatics in his band. Uh, Frank London and, uh, and uh, oh, my buddy there. Um, oh, boy, I haven't seen him in so long. Saxophone player. <laughs> He's a rabbi now, too. Um, Oh my gosh, he better give me a call one of these days. See, that's what happens, you start to forget people. They don't keep in touch with you, that's not nice. No, it's also your memory is what's here. I hope it's not failing. Get the microphone, I can't hear you. You dare do that when you have a voice like that? Listen. You should have that strapped onto your neck. Listen. What? Your memory starts Greg to Greg Wall, how about that? I didn't forget. Yeah. He's my, my buddy. But they all, they were so well organized. We would play klezmer at the weddings, you know. Are you listening? What are you doing? You know? I'm, I'm talking here, pouring out my guts. We would play wedding cocktail hours, and these guys would lead a klezmer set, and it was just all these tunes, and wow, all over the place, just beautiful and well weaved together and so nice. Um... I think they ended up playing with Yitzhak Perlman at the, with the, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't he do something with them? Yeah. 
Sacrificing my own practice just so I could get my mommy in good shape. And then I approached her and she said, No, I don't feel well, like you didn't doing even approach me to because I am um, I'm knocked out. No, well, you have I don't like I don't like rejection. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I ask you, you always said, No, I don't feel like it. Yeah. You didn't ask me. But that's right. I do who should ask? You should ask me. What's another one? Another like a rumba. What's that one? What's that one anyway? Um, I do those two. Uh, my Yiddish Let me think. 
What's another one we never do? Should I? I'm looking for Should I? Should I? Did I do? No. Do I? Do I love you? Is that? Do I love you? Do I love you? Do I love Stacy Klein, and she was going to come the other night, but she had something to do, and she didn't know if she could make it in time, and then I haven't heard from her. So, I wonder why. So she doesn't want to play with me? I don't she know. doesn't want to play with me? I can't believe it. Well, that's how you play. Actually, she, I don't think I ever played for her much in high school. In high school, she did that Reasons with me, with all that whole big production. You remember when we did Reasons with Earth, for Earth, Wind, and Fire? <laughs>
she sang on that tune. We had like all these female vocalists and... Uh, I remember I remember those years when they used to come over here and rehearse with you. Yeah. That was fun. Yep, yep. Anyway, she was going to come. So somebody tell Spacey to come sing with Leoie. Because we'll have some fun. She's a professional singer. She Robert, look did like you get singer. Google on here so I could get it? I, I, I don't know how to get your Google. Did you delete it? I hope you didn't no, delete it. Yeah. Do Go back to your main screen and call it up. But she wanted to do. cancel on me. Hope I'm not batting a thousand here. That would mean they're coming. I got a special guest coming Wednesday. You better hold on to your potatoes, lady. Because we going for a ride. <laughs> oh, but don't tell him. I'm not going to tell him? I shouldn't tell him? No. All right, all right. You ruined the surprise. Are you ruined the surprise? Yeah. All right, I won't tell him. I don't like to be. Mum's the word. So what else? Sing something. Sing 
think about Bernie and Peters. of celery and a, and, a, and a grapefruit today. Did you? Yeah, Dr. That must have been Jack Sultanoff said that it's like the weight loss meal diet. Uh, you just eat the two. I guess the, I think that the two stalks of celery have salt and the grapefruit has sugar. And somehow when you combine the two, and then somehow it tightens up your stomach. Do yeah. I look a little thinner? Yes. Ooh, you look like you're losing. You're not going to look. The older you get, I'm going to get into my thin pants soon. You'll see. I'll show you. 
You won't have Larry Carp to kick around anymore telling me I'm a uh, big fat slob. Loser. <laughs> Yes, you do. No, I don't. You like to keep me that's in line. When, that's when Kill all my dreams and hopes. That's when we're mad at each other. All right. Well, that's usually every day. Wow. Every day. <gasps> Howie used to say uh, it takes his temperature for every day. That baby voice I do is actually my brother when he was a baby. Did you know that? I never told him that, did I? That baby voice I do was actually Howie when he was a little kid. Yeah. I used to, I used to imitate him. Lowie, could you come and read me a story in my crib? And I get in, I read him the little train that could. Remember that? I took good care of my little boys, you. Because I pulled his arm you know, out of the socket. You know what story I remember? Accidentally. The cat in the hat. The cat in the hat? Yeah, do you remember me reading that? No. Good night, moon. Good night, moon. Me and Howie used to play Batman and Robin. <laughs> He was Robin, of course, and I was Batman. 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 Yeah, da, 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 da. Batman. Oh, weird. That's it. That's it. So he's coming. He's gonna come visit us. Finally, we get to see my little boys. You. There's no other person on earth that came from the same place I came from, and yet he doesn't know me very well, does he? What do you mean? He, he tries to climb in my head, but he knows he you. He gets lost amongst the trees. Huh? He can't quite understand me. Well, children are different. We came out five years apart, six years, five, six years apart Something from that like same that. location. Yeah. Huh. Mm, baby face, you've got the cutest little baby face. And I got another one can take your place. Baby face, I'm poor, I'm Uh, how did that one go? Mm -hmm. Love. 
You're singing all those uh, very thoughtful Broadway tunes, like. Uh, I, had, I had to turn it off because I knew I was coming in. Oh yeah. And she was so great, and I said, "How can I follow her?" Didn't feel like you could measure so up. I turned it right. <laughs> I turned it off. She's got those pouty lips, and she and she just sing and she tosses her hair a little. And yeah, I love her hair. It's so great. I love that hair. What was that song that she sang? Um, wasn't the things uh, will harm you while I'm around? She did a lot of Stephen Sondheim. Oh, let's do. Uh, can you do? What's that one he wrote there? We always have problems with the clowns. Sending the clowns. Oh, is that him? No, Charlie Chaplin. Are we a pair? You, me, here at the piano and singing you in that chair. Send in the clowns. Where are the clowns? Don't bother, they're here. Just when you're lost. When you stop, I find the words. I'll sing the melody right, but it's really for the bird, bird, birds. You always sing it right, there's no need to cry. Where in my words? I think I just died. Do you like farce? My fault, I fear. Yeah. I thought that you'd want what I want. Uh huh. Sorry, my dear. Send in the clowns. They're all the clowns. Don't I'm sorry, they're here. Foster, I think she's the dancer on Broadway. She's got some quick steps. Something Foster? Thank you, sir. Okay. We'll butcher that one too. What else we got? Yeah. Just a hodgepodge of everything bad. What else can we do? You like to do this. I'm just floating around trying to entertain this crowd, keep them happy. I don't think Where else can I you don't get? I think there's anybody there. There's a lot of people there. Maybe they, they went to bed. They, they click on it just to let us know they were there. They don't remember anything that happened because they didn't see anything. Now, we know what's going on, right? We're not stupid. Oh, we stupid. Oh, say they go. No, we stupid. They come, they click. And then they take off for like the skating ring over there in Miami Gardens Drive, wherever it was. I'd like to know what they do. They, they, they just let us know that they care by clicking. They click once and then they leave. 
They catch the first minute. If the first minute doesn't grab them, because we just rom ramble on for like an hour and a half, you know. Some of them have to go to sweep, so they use us to kind of knock up, knock themselves out. We're we're better than uh, than it's said. Is that what it is? Or well, we give them a headache. Yeah, I think we give them a headache. <laughs> you want to sing? No. Oh. Anymore. Here, this is your key. Sing this. The only thing that's right. I can't sing. You can't sing? Alright. I think well. I'd like to go for a little ride. A ride? Yeah, at this really. hour? I can't yeah. take an elderly woman out for a ride at this hour. It's just past niche. It's not uh, proper. What are you talking about? To take a woman like you out in the town at 12.30 You're taking tonight? me to the hospital at 2 in the morning. Well, that's because no. you need it. Look, well, I need this too. Oh, you need I mine like a, like a hole today. in the head up there. The puts. You got all I dressed up. I want to here. I took a shower. I want to go out a little. What's that one? Uh, uh, Let's drive uh, past uh, the old house. Putting on my white tie. And I'm going down. We got my gal. I got my, my flower shirt sitting on my big chair, singing all my favorite songs. Who know I was singing? How's the rest? I can't do anything tonight. I know. I got to practice. I was intending to practice all the repertoire, and then I got started, but I had to do some other things. Ah. What else? Can we do one thing through I don't that's think meaningful so. that we could leave them saying, wow, that car family sounded at least half decent? I don't think so. I mean, uh, not for free doing. entertainment, it was pretty good. Oh, I'll fix something that's catered to your voice. Like something, let's let's just be smart about it. got to use wisdom. So you'll say, you sound like a bird. What, what's, a, what's a good song that could be like a bird? Yeah, it is hot in here, isn't it? The yes. air is not cooking. you got to tell him about it. Oh, boy. He may be here tomorrow. <laughs> tell him. Marie. <laughs> Our landlord's Israeli. Marie, what do you mean? Chick chock, huh? Come on, come on. What are you talking about? It's hot in there. It's not. It's cool. It's cool. You gotta put it up there. Get the pocket up in the beginning. Now, Ray. This is what I want to get. You see this? What? This. I gotta get something what? like this. No, no. Let's not talk about that. Come on. Let's do one more thing that we can do well. I can't. There's nothing I can do well to. Come on. I'm you sing like a bird. A, What's a bird I'm song? Just here. What's I want, a bird? I want to wish everybody a happy, happy Labor Day. What's a bird song? Something like a bird. A bird. Huh? Yeah. Bye bye Blackbird. Here. Pack up. I'm going to speak it. Pack up all our cares and woe. Here I go. Singing low. Bye. Bye. Blackbird. Where somebody waits for me. Sugar is sweet. And so is he. Bye, bye, little blackbird. No one, no one here can love or understand me. Oh, oh, what hard love stories they all hand me. Bernadette eats your heart out. She conveys the message of a lyric. Make my bed and night. Light the light, I'll arrive late tonight.
you mama in that beautiful shirt you are a radiant vision of loveliness look at you you'd make someone so happy yeah from it from a distance I'm trying to find someone you're trying to find somebody yeah <laughs> are they still on yeah they're still on okay, I'm uh, I don't want let them let them go to sleep <laughs> you and I'll talk about it privately Okay. All right, good night, everybody. Hope you had a good night. Right. Get a good night's sweep, because you're going to need it. Goodbye.